Here's the MDX non-empty function. Uh, word of warning down here, the uh, non-empty function, uh, you should use that or the exists function rather than the deprecated uh, non-empty cross-join function which only uh, currently exists in MDX uh, for backward compatibility. So now that I've got my disclaimer out of the way, and we can take a look at this brilliant color coding in here. So here's my syntax non-empty set expression uh, 1. Here's my set expression 1 and set expression 2. Here's my set expression 2. And what we're going to do here, if not empty, is we're going to return a set of tuples that are not empty. Non-empty from the specified set, specified set, based on the cross product of that set, the specified set, with this set down in here. All right, uh, so we join them together and we're going to see what happens. Let's switch on over to the code editor. So first off, let me uh, pop back over and do this. And here I've got, I ran this query down here just to show you what happens when we're not running a non-empty. So as we bring these on back across and I pop into messages, I've got a 18,486 uh, columns and two rows as I bring it on and back. And as you notice, almost everything's null. Now back over and I'm going to run the same query, non-empty. And so I'm going to bring this on down non empty down here and the members of the customer dot customer dot customer so you know customer dot customer dot customer so my customer dimension and as I drop on down here my uh, uh, customer level and my customer attribute hierarchy and then I drop on down my customer member cross joining in here with this other set and this is July 1st 2005 um, and measures internet sales amount from AdventureWorks when we execute the code. Six rows, two columns as I drop on down here like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, internet sales amount being across the top. And that's the uh, non-empty function.